do this quick. It's a Friday. I don't know if there will be any sales tomorrow. Um, here's everything I got today. I spent $124 because I spent $84. At the estate sale, I spent uh, 40 my friend down. Now, the jewelry, I'm, I'm not going to... I didn't get any video games, although I did get some video game-related uh, items. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through quickly and show what Marie got, but she talks about it in the car. Um, this is a Brighton necklace. This is an Egyptian Revival necklace. She spent 40 for her uh, jewelry. This is a Zuni Bolo. This is a micro mosaic bracelet. She told me the name on this. Uh, a Sessocraft. Sessocraft cross pin. She said this is an Etr Etruscan style necklace. Okay, it's got like inlaid stones. That looks like um, the red one, garnet. And that's what the necklace looks like, unsigned. She bought this because it's a dragonfly pin. She has people that like dragonflies. That's for the flea market. Uh, that does not appear to be signed. And this is a Swarovski ladybug. And that's signed. Where is it? Right there. Uh, Swan sign Swarovski ladybug. Okay. I'm just gonna go through what I got. I don't have a lot of time today. I'm worried about the rain. Plus, AJ wants me to go through a bunch of. I got a bunch of Nintendo Power magazines. So let me put this to the side. All right. For ten dollars, I got these bronze bookends, not signed or hallmarked by any maker, but these are good old bronze ones. All right. Yeah, I went to uh, my friends house and that's where I bought the perfumes that I'm going to show and I went to an estate sale we went to this estate sale like twice because the line was too long the first time all right this is a puzzle I don't really know it could be 80s 90s it isn't a frame it's not really the greatest frame I don't know maybe it was coming apart maybe that's why they went <clears throat> that silver tape but it's it's pretty cool subject matter. I paid five for that, so maybe I'll put that in the booth, or I'll just take it to a flea market, sell it for ten to fifteen. All right. So again, back to the estate sale, and then I'm gonna then I'll stop for a second. Uh, this is a rum real pitcher. It says, "How do I know?" Five four seven rum real right on the bottom. I need to clean it up a little bit. I didn't see any specific damage. There's some spots here where there's some cracking, but it's not an actual crack or damage. Um, someone has this one, it's called st Stipple. Uh, it's blue Stipple paint. Uh, someone has this on eBay for 120 something bucks, but no way, I, I think I think I can get, I wanna put it in the showcase for like 40 or 50. You know, I think they don't sell for that much. I think that person just doesn't know and they're, they're too expensive. But for 10 bucks, right, who cares? All right, still at the estate sale. They had this uh, sergeant. Looks like a gold tone badge with a little bit of the gold tone worn off, showing some silver underneath. Sergeant Personal Detective Agency, and it says State of New Jersey. So, I don't know if this is like an official badge or anything. She charged me a buck for this, so whatever. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. eBay can be annoying with stuff like that sometime. And then I got these two Jurassic Park uh, dinosaurs. I don't think it's, I think it's Jurassic Park. It's kind of a little wear there. I just sold a Jurassic Park dinosaur on eBay for like, uh, this looks like it takes a battery, so it must make noise or something. Probably roars, needs batteries. Uh, this doesn't seem to have a chomping action. No, the mouth doesn't work or do anything. The tail doesn't seem to do anything. Let's see. It says 1997. So this one looks like Jurassic Park. And this one, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's Jurassic Park 3 because it's got the 3 there. This one appears to be, and it has like a missing 
chomped out uh, battle damage wound or something. But I don't know if a piece goes in there. I think it just shows the damage. This is one of the, I guess it's a Velociraptor or something. And I don't know. This is Stegalomegalod. Barney Doris. <clears throat> All right. Um, I'm going to jump back to these in a second. All right. Here's a perfume set I got from Dan. He just charged me 40 bucks. Oh, and then he gave me like these little stands. But it, it came with paintings. He was like, hey, could, can you, do you like this stuff? And I'm like, not really. I said, the stands are kind of cool. He said, oh, here, take these. And, and I was like, do you want the paintings? He was like, nah. And I guess... Renoir? Michelangelo? I don't know. Uh, and it comes with these stands. I think the stands are pretty cool. I can use those for some. He gave me... Um, a stand and two. Let's see. Is it Renoir again? Or Michelangelo? Van Gogh? Let's see. Know your artist. Okay, this is Van Gogh. I think. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Um, and here are the perfumes. To be honest, I don't specifically know the value of this. Heaven Scent Helena Rubenstein I don't think is worth that much. But I think I could probably get like 20 or so uh, eventually online. These are two Avons, Amari. I don't believe these are worth very much at all, but let me see. I think there's two of them, so I can lot those. Yeah, 1.7. I'll lot them, and if they're worth, say, like 20, I'll just make them like 25, and I'll let them sit. Um, here's another one. I don't know. Jean Tu. Pretty as a picture. Jean Tu, picture frame and perfume. Something like that. I would almost never buy. But um, Dan was just like, here, you know, just take the stuff. Here's an empty, looks like Shalimar bottle. Yep. Um, I would say plus chips. I believe this has no value. It says Guerlain. I don't know. I don't think it has any value. I would give it to anybody who wanted it. Um, this is not worth anything. That's Avon. I don't know if this is worth anything. I've never had it. Um, but I, again, I, I can make, I'm not going to get rich off of this stuff, but here's a, uh, Estee Lauder Super Cologne. That's, this might be one of the better things in the box. Usually Estee Lauder is pretty good and sellable. It sells like in the 30 or so dollar range. I just need a couple of these to sell. Uh, almost full. Hopefully it doesn't leak. That's one of the problems I have as I go to spray test this stuff. And it leaks, and then it's a, it's a bottle that's leaking when you spray it, and I don't even list that stuff. Um, Geminelle cologne. Large size bottle. Looks like there's leakage. Again, another one I am not familiar with. No, nah, it looks mostly full. Okay. I, I'm just going to assume that's worth at least 20 to $30. That's what I'm going to assume. Let me see who makes it. Max factor. Okay, I'm going to say at least 20 30 <clears throat> problem with this stuff is I automatically lose about five to twelve dollars on shipping oh the toilet if you can see if I can get that you might be able to read it better than me Eve Rocher I think I am not familiar with this one it's funny like everybody knows the easy ones uh, J Revian's lotion I've sold J. Revians before. I don't specifically know if I sold this lotion. This looks empty. Here's another Max Factor. But it looks empty. No, wait. Marcel Frank Paris. Beats the hell out of me. Uh, Ariane. Oh, this is Avon. All right. I think what I can do is I'm going to lot these two. This ought to be worth 20 this ought to be worth 20 to 30. This is probably 20 to 30. And this, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30. This may be 20. I, honestly, I won't even make them less than that anyway. Uh, I'll just zoom in on it. Bird of Paradise. Okay. Not for me. And then there's some miscellaneous teeny weenies in here. These almost always are items that I don't deal with. They're just too small. I can't even read that. All right. 
but there you go. All right, so that's the perfumes I got. All right, let me just put a couple of these back in here so the box doesn't blow away. And this will go with the box of perfumes that I am working on right now. All right, uh, okay, now I got two milk crates filled with Nintendo Power magazines and gaming for formers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these out and stack them, and I'm going to separate the magazines while I'm doing this. This is for AJ. Ugh. All right, I got to be careful. Let me put those all the way over here. Well, at least it didn't show anything. Okay, let me just carefully pull these out. Game Informer. Okay, that goes with that. Game Informer. Game Informer. It's got Spyro on the cover. Game Informer. What I might do with some of these is I might, if these have very little value, what I might do is I might go through them and cut out very interesting advertisements to sell separately. Like, uh, see that? That's kind of a nice poster, right? Cut that out and frame it. All right, let me just keep going through. Game Informer with uh, Link, Snake Eyes, Game Informer. Okay, and another Game Informer. I don't know who that is. Rogue Trip. All right. Okay, uh, whoever that wrestler is. Uh, also, oh, uh, Stone Cold. Game Informer. There's Ape Escape. Crash, of course. Yeah, see, like, posters like this, you know, you put that in a frame or back covers. Yeah, there's another one. Some of these are beat up. There's a Pikachu. I've never had Game Informer. And there's a... I, boy, I got a lot of these. I might just try and step it up. I just got to make sure I don't get any... Like here, this, this one's beat up. Here, I'm just going to go through these as quickly as possible. Tumba 2. Resident Evil. Tony Hawks. It's got a nice Dreamcast on the cover. What am I going to say? Ah, that's a nice Dino Crisis poster. Advertisement. All right. James Bond. Are you a loser? <laughs> Another James Bond. I guess it's the same one. Like there's Blade. WWF. Legend of Dragoon. Wild Arms 2. Okay, apparently I got a lot of game informers. I wasn't really familiar with that one. Dino Crisis 2. And Final Fantasy. But see, these posters on the back are cool. People like that stuff. All right, um, I'm one third through one. Okay, now I'm hoping. Okay, these are more Game Informers. Let me just throw it on top of there. Game Informer, Game Informer, Game Informer, Game Informer, Game Informer, Game Informer, Game Informer. What I'm really hoping is I got some manuals. Uh, and I don't mean manuals. I mean like prima game guides, that kind of stuff, and some good ones. Game Informer. So there's a nice poster. Some of these are in better conditions than others. I'm gonna have to try and flatten them out a little bit. Final Fantasy. Let me see if I can get that a little bit over. Game Informer. Game Informer. Okay. <clears throat> Keep going. Look how thick these were. <clears throat> Game Informer. Game Informer. Game Informer. Enter the Matrix. Uh, Game Informer. Uh, my City. Let's see that. Another Resident Evil. And The Getaway. If these have very little value, I am definitely just chopping them up, you know. All right. Okay, these look like adult magazines. Just. Okay, apparently there are some adult magazines in here. So I'm going to get, I'm going to just go through those. All right. Um, here's, an, here's a strategy guide. I wanted stuff like this. Now, I pay 20 for everything, so just a few of these could pay for everything. What's this? Okay, this is a Crash Bandicoot. It's not in the best condition, but is it, it's a, a, a strategy guide for Crash Bandicoot. So that's like PS1. All right, now we're back to Game Informers. 
Here's a strategy guide. Strategy guides ought to be worth like five bucks. Okay, now we got some Nintendo Powers. Game Pro, I am not familiar with. That magazine. Star Wars, Shadow of the Limited Instructors. Collectors, good. Let's put that here. Blasto, the official strategy guide. Okay. I'm going to have to try and flatten these out. They're a little warped. Oh, and, and Tomb Raider, probably not worth very much at all. But I'm going to try and flatten some of those out. All right, so let me just get that out of the way. This might be the better one. Let's see what we got. All right. Okay, now we got Nintendo Powers. Army Man 007. Spider-Man. What's this? Nintendo Power's got Kirby on the cover. A nice cover. Nintendo Power. Got Crash. There's Pokemon Yellow. And uh, Game Pro. Game Pro? Do I? Oh, I already had that one. So these are Nintendo Powers. All right, let's just keep going. <clears throat> Dripping sweat over here. All right. Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power. Oh, look at this guy. Anybody remember this guy? I forget what his name is. Sako stuff. Is. Cover's a little beat up on this one. Let's see if I can flatten that out. Again, if these are worth, if I can get a buck a piece on these, this has a nice, interesting cover, but it's kind of ripped up a little bit. But see, the back artwork is pretty cool. Frame that. Game Pro. All right. Let me just keep going. Get this many. All right. Okay, nice Pokemon Stadium cover. Nice Legend of Zelda. Mario Tennis, another Pokemon. Let's see, stuff like this I want to fix. Probably going to lay these flat in the milk crates. Give them time to kind of flatten out a little bit. Nice Mario, Raymond ad on the back. What's this? Hmm. Oh, it's a Nintendo Power, just with a Spider-Man cover. Nintendo Power, Nintendo Power, Mario Party 2. And that's the Game Pro I keep showing. All right, here, what's this? These look like strategy guides. Uh, Castlevania, official strategy guide. Turok, official strategy guide. And Gex 3. Nothing too amazing. Here, it looks like the kid made notes. Um, Gex 3. Uh, I'm not really up on the value of the strategy guides, but I don't think I got anything too amazing just yet. All right, fine. Let's go through. Now, the one thing that AJ was saying, because I was talking to him. Here's another Nintendo Power. Uh, it's got another Pokemon character on the front. The one thing that AJ was saying, oh, wow, if they had all this stuff, they probably had the games there. And I'm going, and I believe they probably might have. But I also believe that they were not giving them away, like Pokemon Snap. If they did have all these games, wow, that would have been great. Uh, Star Wars Episode Racer. Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power. And that's the game for I keep showing. All right. I'm almost done. Legend of Zelda, Nintendo Power. Okay, that one's beat up. Another Star Wars. Yes. Turok. Hmm, that's a nice cover. If I can get that off, you know, I might be able to. Like, sometimes if you use, uh, what do you call it? A hair dryer. It'll soften the glue. All right, what's this? <clears throat> Games, the big book of games. Okay, that's something else. All right, uh, what do we got? This goes to something. Just throw it there. All right, keep going. Nintendo Power, Nintendo Power, PSM. That's the PlayStation one, right? Yeah, PlayStation. Okay, I don't have any of those yet. I'll put it over here. Twisted Metal Black. Your free prizes are waiting. That's interesting. Nintendo Power. Game Pro. Wait, I keep showing that one. It's at the bottom. Oh, got a Turok. 
Okay, these are probably worth like five a piece, so that's good. Turok 2. I, I don't know if I said I paid 20 bucks for all of this. These two crates with all these magazines. So, in terms of like what I paid for them, okay, uh, got Mario Kart on the cover, but they are Nintendo Powers. Paper Mario, WWF, Ken Griffith, there's Hulk, Turok 2, I think there's a Turok, there's some more, and just basketball. That looks like Kobe Bryant, maybe. All right. Nintendo Power, 1080, Banzo Kazooie, Yoshi Story, oh, whatever, NFL, Diddy Kong, Bowser, Tetris, these are all Nintendo, I got a big stack of Nintendo Power, what's this, oh, supplies, something to do with Nintendo Power, I wonder if this is another, uh, you know what, I'll just stick these to the side. I have no clue what will be worth the most out of this. I'm assuming the stuff in this stack will be worth the most. Game Pro. I know that one. It's here. Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion or the Nintendo 64. What's this? I'll figure that out later. All right. I'm almost done. Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power. I saw there were some manuals. So this must be around GameCube time. Because uh, that's Pikmin. Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power. Another Nintendo Power. Alright. And this is going to finish it up. <clears throat> Giant Book of Games. It's BS. I'll probably throw that away. Crosswords. What's this? Super Mario Brothers 2 Inside Out. What's this? Ooh. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars Player's Guide. Sealed and unopened. All right. And Prima's uh, Blast Corpse. Okay. All right, that's it. Plus, I got these two sweet milk crates and a bunch of, like, uh, I guess, 80s porn. All right, that's everything I got today. $124. I think I did pretty good overall. Was anything, is anything amazingly valuable? I don't really know. You know, maybe the sealed uh, player's guide's 50 or something. I don't think uh, any of the perfumes are too valuable. And this so could, this says it's worth 120 bucks. Someone said, but I don't, I don't think I'll ever get that. Um, I don't think I'll find anything tomorrow. The weather's against me. And um, it's supposed to rain all morning. It's supposed to rain all morning. So we shall see. But anyway, that's everything I got today. Uh, I did some live hunting and uh, some jibber jabbering about what we were doing during the day and what was going on. So go to Scummy Resellers later. Uh, that video is going to take me time to, to put together. Um, but anyway, I, for now, I'm out of here. Bye. Started while you're here. I'm going to do Marie's pickup in this portion of the video. Um, Marie got to touch another man's ass today. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, I came up alongside him and I tickled I, his butt and I said, let's go. And I, I have was a like, generic oh my ass. God, you're not my husband. <laughs> so I was going to say. He was like, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Now, I would say, like, then I get to do it, right? But if I do it, somebody no. will slap me. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, masher. He, he, yeah. was, he was okay with it. He's yeah. like, it's fine. Hey, we spent. 80... But I was embarrassed. Yeah, I figured. Uh, we spent $84 all together. How did it feel? <laughs> Was it good? He was younger. Oh. So, 84 bucks we spent today, Yeah, right? I spent and you spent 40. 40 on jewelry. One of the things that you got was this. It's a Zuni Bolo, and I think these ends are sterling. There's like a sun... I'll show uh, this in a second. I'm trying to focus a on sun, this. A uh, sun... Yeah, so a nice Zuni design. I guess there. it goes like this. It's a Bolo, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a like face. it's a face, basically. Yeah. Let me just show that. So, let me get it nice in there and show it nice and good. And then I'll show the... I guess that's focused. You know, I'm not wearing my glasses. And then they got these. Well, and you say these are silver? I think they are. I gotta clean them up. Okay. There's like a sun uh, mark on them. Ah, okay. All right, and what else? 
I got this. Now that, that Zuni thing, that ought to get you your money back, right? For the 40 you're bucks? showing the wrong side. I know, I know. That's like Egyptian revival. Right, and you just sold um, something like that for about and 40 it's, bucks? It's, it's, uh, middle, it's Middle Eastern because the little tag is... is that, it's got, got that hand on it? No, it doesn't have a hand. It just has like a coin with... Um, that looks Middle Eastern. Yes. And there that is. I'm, I'm like focusing in on it, I believe. So you can see it. Okay, so that's nice. And look at the, the hammer designs right there, right? Okay. What else you got? This bucks. is like an Etruscan um, lariat, I think they call okay. it. Okay. I'll show that. Wait, show I got it. I have to untangle it. Take a good look at that. All right. But it's nice. Let's put this here. So, yeah, it's Etruscan. Uh, and you get this stuff occasionally. Sometimes you get it in silver, right? And there's yeah, a like chain. That. It has like little inset stones and stuff yeah. and agate uh, beads. So it's definitely nice. nice. Okay, so. And I got this micro mosaic. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, you're not going to get rich with this, but uh, this is, is something that we can sell. Here, I'm trying to lay it down one handed. All right, do that. Let's focus in on there. That's very pretty. What do you think you'd get for that on eBay? 30 bucks? Maybe. Okay. This is Brighton. It's new, but it's oh, Brighton. Brighton. And I liked it. It actually has a very cool design. Yeah. Brighton. And Brighton stuff can sell well online. Well, the crap is expensive to begin with. Hell yeah. And this actually looks really nice, this one. This is an Assesso Craft. I'm not sure. I've it, never heard of Assesso Craft. It's a craft. pin or a pendant. Like you can. You know what? Maybe I heard of Assesso Craft. Is this from like the 70s? The 50s, 50s. 50s. Okay. Let's say it says Assesso Craft right probably there on the back. This is just Liz Claiborne, oh, but it's see. a dragonfly. People, People like dragonflies. Dragon. You're probably going to sell it at the flea market, right? Uh, we'll see. I'll look it up. Some Liz Claiborne stuff sells. Okay. And this is. Well, a, if it sells for like 20 bucks. This know. is a Swarovski um, ladybug. You actually did pretty good. This Swarovski ladybug ought to be worth at least 20, 25 bucks. I would think. So for your money. I uh, spent 40 bucks. For your 40 bucks. It's home up there. For your 40 bucks, say 25 at least. How much? At least 10. 35. This ought to be like 30 or this one. I don't know. How are you getting 30? All right. Say 20, 40, what? If it's at the flea market, it's like 10. Yeah, but you, you can say Etruscan. You can put this on eBay. Yeah, 20 then. Okay, 20. Know. So that's 55. I like to go low end and then get some. Yeah, I know. So. This is like at least uh, 75. We'll say at least uh, 20. Eight. At least yeah, 20. so 95. At least 30. 40. 40. Okay, so that's 135. And this ought to be 40 or so, right? Yeah. So that's 150 something. Okay, not bad. Bad. I'll show my stuff before this. I'm so hot. Ugh. Otherwise, it's funny, right? We came really late. I st I'm actually still recording. Um, we came pretty late. And we just, we had time to look hard. And people were buying stuff. She was being really nice. Yeah, yeah she's nice always nice. Because I, I ask to look in the, I don't just open the, yeah. the jewelry case. I always ask. And she was like, you know, I appreciate that you asked me to look at jewelry. Yeah, it's a big deal. And, you know, just uh, like stick your paws and start grabbing stuff. Well, AJ called me, of course. And then... Um, <laughs> I gotta call him next. What is this old dude? He's blocking all the traffic. Well, yeah. I, I don't know what's going on here. This guy stopped in the middle of the road. Because he can't get through. Yeah. And then, for some reason, all of a sudden, there's a traffic jam here. It's like the weirdest thing ever. I did see some cool stuff in that. I might... Look, look at this. That's Steve's car. Except... Not Steve, but that's his car. Um, yeah, it was funny because we got there at like 11:30, and there was a line. There was a line. We we're like, so screw we're this like, crap. Oh, let's get out of here. Yeah. And then we came back at almost 1:30, and there was still a line. And yeah. Stood, maybe it was like. No, no, we got in at one. We came back at one, and we didn't get until like 1:30. 1:30 because we yeah. <clears throat> we had to wait on line. Yeah, I bought stuff. <clears throat> oh, I got to do my window up. All right, I'm gonna turn this off for now. Yeah, because I put the air on. I can't. Bye. Too sweaty.